Hey, it's Sebastian. And Olivia. From the local lowdown, and here we're here with Prairie Pavement at The Cave. Yes, sir. Can everybody introduce themselves and what they play in the band? I'm Jack. I play guitar, and I sing and scream. Um, I'm Owen. I play bass, and I'm also a cowbell stand. Um, I'm Sale. I play guitar. I sing, and sometimes in the very private performances, I play the kazoo. I'm Dylan, and I play the cowbell and occasionally the drums. Awesome. Uh, Prayer Pavement began while you all were in high school. Um, I was just wondering, how did you guys form, and what? How did your music change? Because you guys have been together for quite a few years now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, like, how did we form? Yes. So. We all, well, except for Owen, because Owen's like a late member, but we all uh, knew each other from uh, like jazz groups in school, like middle school and stuff. And then uh, me and Sal started talking again after that in high school. And then uh, he had the idea to do like a thing for like a school arts festival. So he uh, asked Dylan and uh, uh, our friend Eli at the time to play bass. And he, me and Sal were already talking and writing stuff. So he asked me to join and we covered Mac DeMarco and it was history from there. Cool. You have two albums released, Prairie Pavement and Red Flags Last Forever. What is your songwriting process like, and what has inspired so much songwriting in the last couple of years? Um, I don't know if I like heard that question all the way through, but I heard the first part about the songwriting process. So, I mean, it, it's kind of different depending on like who comes up with the original idea. I mean, for me personally, uh, I like to kind of get a like a, a decent demo going and then I will uh, like bring it to everybody else and, and teach the parts. I mean, sometimes other people do that, but I mean, that's like what works the best for me. Um, I know that, is it all right if I speak for you like for a second, unless you want to? Uh, well, Jack will write a lovely song and record a lovely acoustic and vocal demo and then we will... Uh, work it around and makes little touches until it is good. And then what was the, 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 the second part of that? How, how do you stay motivated? How do I stay motivated? Writing so many songs, um, being together first. Sometimes I'm not motivated, but I found that things that, uh, I would say things that like frustrate me or things that uh, make me happy or things that make me sad or just anything that evokes like any sort of emotion, I guess. I don't know if anybody else. That's wants. important. Stay, staying motivated. My, my uh, advice to a songwriter that is not motivated is listen to a bunch of records that you don't normally listen to. And then you're going to be like, whoa, all oh, this is out there. Because if you're focusing on one genre, you're not going <laughs> to. If you're focusing on one genre, it's gonna, you're, you're bound to get some sort of block. So if you listen to like Yacht Rock or something, That's like a Yacht Rock, rock opera or something, I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, and then I'm, um, I also like do some more recording and engineering stuff on my own. So um, like I'm not as much of a lyricist, but a lot of my musical ideas and things just come out of kind of exercising those skills and trying out different recording techniques and all that. Um, and, you know, that's kind of ended up with a lot of pretty cool ideas and stuff, so hopefully we'll be hearing some of that at some point. You guys joined Bughouse Collective in October alongside many other local artists. What is it like being a part of the collective? Um, so it's, it's very fresh now, um, but you know, there are a lot of like really cool bands and artists on there, you know, some of which we've already played with and um, we really enjoy and they're really talented people. And you know, there's also like, printing and like art stuff and you know a whole like recording studio and record label involved in it so um you know i think it's definitely gonna end up giving us like a lot of opportunities to meet cool people and work with cool people and that's already been happening so you know did you, did you guys have any connection or did they kind of just cold, well, cold I'll, let, I'll let jack elaborate so i saw reese daniels who i love uh reese daniels uh, he's uh, he's a musician uh, around the area, and I've played with him. And I, I saw he posted the We Are the Bug House Collective thing, and I was like, if this is what I think it is, I need to be a part of it. So uh, the uh, announcement happened, and I was like, I just emailed them, and I was like, pretty please, can we pretty please be a part of it? And then they said, yes, we love you. And I'm like, yes, we love you. And then 
That's it. Smash me in I totally thought it was like cold, cold, like reach out. Like, yeah. That's how it is for like everybody else in Most, it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, as of right now. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your I Heart PP shirts oh, are very silly. Yeah, yeah, um, do you have any other silly, goofy ideas for merch coming up? I will not be uh, elaborating on that. I will give that to our main merch daddy, Mr. Jack Chapstick. <laughs> Dude, okay, listen to this. Because <laughs> I do a lot of the merch. I, I was a screen printer for a long time, and uh, I just love doing it. So um, I have the idea to make the Prairie Pavement logo look like the Among Us logo. That is the funniest thing, dude. Right, we also is right right now. Is it like the gopher? Is that the logo or no? It's Are a you prairie talking dog. About what? It's a prairie dog. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, you know, no, here's I mean, hey, tomato, 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 yeah. tomato. <laughs> but <laughs> it's a little thing in a hole. Yeah, okay. dude. Um, so that that makes much more sense. Yeah, that's yeah. Smarter. So more on brand. We have a sticker idea coming very soon that's uh, Cersei, but because it sounds like Burt's Bees, so it's on like a thing of chapstick. So it's like Cersei's, and then it's a chapstick. Yeah, it's it's like really weird, but we're going to just make those into stickers. Chaps. Mm. It's cool. I like it. That's cool. Are there any upcoming releases, shows, or merch we should be looking out for? Our next show is uh, December 23rd at Mohawk Place. Please, 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 please come. Um, as for releases, uh, we're getting in the holiday spirit, and we will be releasing, hopefully, some songs that are festive very soon. Very soon. Please listen. Good Please. to know. Holiday songs. Mariah Carey cover, possibly. Something original. Yeah. Maybe. You just we'll gotta see. find out. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, it's been Sebastian. And Olivia. We'll catch you in the next interview. There's a friend Cutting half the photograph We'll never see you again Oh, for a while That's the sadness of your smile You know you're wrong Always came, you played your game